All righty, we know that Cam Newton received a ton of criticism, right? We saw when he made a joke about a female reporter asking him about Devin Funches running routes. If you haven't seen it, we covered it yesterday. Go to youtube.com slash TYT sports. He has been dropped by a few sponsors. Others are choosing not to use him anymore. One little, <laughs> whenever I say a little girl, a little boy, I always <laughs> default to Gilbert Godfrey stand up. Go to Jason's camera. <laughs> Can you do the voice and I'll just make yeah, it? Yeah, 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 ready? Three, two, one. A little boy once went. <laughs> I couldn't do it, I couldn't just laugh. I could start laughing. All right, one more time, three, two. <laughs> Uh, all right, come on. All right, ready? I'm ready? on ready? you. Three, two. A little boy. Ah, shit, I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the second line. I knew the first one. Yeah. All right, serious story. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, <laughs> sorry. I could I, keep doing it. I know. You I'll go, let's... it's a serious story, and then all you're right. like, a little come to boy. Come to and my then you're like, a serious story. A little boy. And then you go, okay, okay, okay. So a, girl, a little boy. A girl on Instagram. Put this up little girl, technically. to make light of the situation and mainly just make fun of Cam Newton. So take a look. Okay, Cam, pay attention because I'm only going to say this once. This is a corner out. This is a slant route. This is a post up and over. This one's called a comeback route. Cam, why do you wear the same clothes as my grandma? That's weird. This is called a flat because you see a little, it goes a little bit up and over. This is a fly route. You know, I think real boys. Fall on the football. This is a curl. My hair curls when it rains. This one's called an out route. And this one's called a dig. This is a unicorn. It's a very good unicorn. Cam, if you ever get any of these, the Eagles are going to show you on Thursday Night Football. I love the unicorn. All right, That's can, what I'm in this for. Can we go over this real quick? The yeah. first one was about his fashion, and the second one was about what? Real I, men fall on the football, as in when he didn't dive for the, the, Super Bowl. the Super Bowl. I mean, this girl's great. Yeah, that, that was. I mean, it's hilarious. It's yeah. funny. I think it's in good fun, too. I think it was a nice message. <laughs> was a of nice course message. it's in good fun. She's like 10. I know. I don't think she she wrote the jokes. I don't I think, think she wrote the jokes. Maybe, but she, she might have. She definitely drew the pictures. She. she no, I'm, I'm kidding. Well, I, no, I, I, think she, I think she easily could have done all of it. It sounded like it took a brain surgeon yeah, to write it. Yeah, she goes, Dad, right. get the camera. <laughs> Start, focus, hit record. You're good? Okay, you're good. Yeah. He's going like, and then one? she went, I'm gonna put him in his place. Dad, dad's going like, which one's like, can you explain? Dad's sitting there with a the yeah, totally. like, Can we get the fly route again? Was this fly route? It's <laughs> uh, good. That's good. That's good. Totally. That's good. Her penmanship is better than mine. Yeah. I now know what a dig route is. I do. I feel like I learned something. I knew post, corner, comeback. Did you see Cam's apology? Button hook. Yeah, it was, I don't think I, we like, could play it, can we? No, I don't I think we could. I think we absolutely could play it. I think it's fair use. The uh, uh, it was a nice apology. Should we play it? I did think there was one one really important tweet uh, from I if believe you, it was AC Targaryen. Real quick, if you haven't Hold seen on. it, we'll yeah. throw a link in the description. Yeah, we don't want to waste your time here. <laughs> Not like we don't on a daily basis. I gotta find it. It was from AC Targaryen or something like that. The gist. It was of from Minto. Minto. The the gist of the tweet was. Why are we holding Cam Newton to a higher standard than the President of the United States? And it's a totally fair point. And the, the response to that should be, don't let the guy who's running the country actually set that example and don't actually follow it. Yeah, Cam Newton is taking the right step to apologize. I, I understand why people think PC culture is why he has to apologize. Like, right. I get it. They right. think everything's overtly politically correct. Uh, you apologize and move on. Not either of us did we ever say he deserves to lose his sponsorships. He should be kicked out of the league. Nope. He should do this. He should do that. It's no, very. Man. It's very simple. You can always correct a mistake when yes. you make a bad joke or a misogynistic joke or a racist joke. You can always correct that. What I've always said, at least when it comes to the NFL, is when they say, "Oh, Jason doesn't believe in second chances." I've gotten a bunch of tweets of that when it came to Tyreek Hill. I go, "No, I think that would what happened with Tyreek Hill and what happened with Joe Mixon are inexcusable actions that should have prevented them from." Being able to be drafted, I do. I 100% agree. I would love, love, love to see instead of kind of like the boycott, fire room culture we have, 
Uh, the apologize. Uh, a professor, culture. a professor of women's studies at one of the top universities, sit down and have a live streamed conversation with Cam Newton and explain to him why the historical context surrounding women means that less women have historically paid attention to football, but why that's no longer true, why that no longer applies, right. and why that's archaic information. And maybe yes. Cam Newton gets it, but ho more hopefully, the hundreds of thousands of people that subscribe to his mentality that don't voice it and just live it, this in their lives, they get convinced convinced because they see someone who believes what they believe get convinced out of it, hopefully. Yeah. I, I would watch it, but. I would like to see the women's study professor also sit down and be like, Cam, this is specifically why the arc in your shoulder is making you throw extremely inaccurately <laughs> this season. <laughs> That'd be funny. When you're rolling, put more pressure on your left foot when you're going forward to be like, Cam's just like writing it down. He's like, yeah, no, I got this, okay, okay. <laughs> no, he probably still wouldn't take her seriously. Again, um, I think it was, I think the timing was incredible because I said yes two days ago. The, no, no player in the NFL gets more unfair. Well, actually, no player besides Colin Kaepernick gets more unfair criticism. But the Cam Newton's like a yeah, close we're in second. Complete agreement. And it's just like that, that day, that day, he says it. I and, think and then we're just like sometimes I say speak, oh, and dude. I'm cursed. I'm a cursed individual. So I brought this up yesterday, but I didn't mention the name. So real quick, if you didn't see the clip yesterday, why I believe first off, you shouldn't make this joke ever, and it wasn't even funny. But secondly. What I think is very hypocritical is Cam not understanding the struggle that a lot of female sports reporters have to deal with in order to just be taken seriously. And as I mentioned yesterday, I have worked with female writers, female reporters, uh, on air talent as well. And they know more than I do about dig routes and fly routes and schemes and packages and formations and yada yada, okay? So regardless of that, there was a time from a historical uh, speaking perspective where black quarterbacks, black people, uh, excuse me, black athletes were not taken seriously to be a quarterback of a franchise. It didn't happen until sure. 1968. Yeah, struggle for it every time. Vic 68. used to get it. Byron Leftwich used to Marlon get it. Marlon fucking Briscoe did not, he became the first black quarterback in 1968. So Cam Newton should know a thing or two about the struggle of just a group of people being, being taken seriously and especially to become the face of the fucking franchise. And that's why it is so hypocritical of him to do this and put down an entire gender who are just trying to be taken seriously. And I understand that a lot of people are gonna be like, why are you getting so pissed about it? It was a joke. It wasn't funny and it was offensive. And he also and his ancestors had to deal with something that is Incomprehensible, but also on a footballing perspective, all right? And why he is so tone deaf to this is because Marlon Briscoe was the first one to lay the foundation of, like, oh, yeah, they can play quarterback. So it was foolish of him to do this. It was just, stupid of him to I do this. I just think it's, I just think the hilarity is this the, the backlash that, like, we might receive. For standing up for, I, I, for what we believe. I've told you this many times. I know. I, I don't know. Care. I, I don't know. I know yeah. you don't care. My point being, though, is like it's very easy for you guys. It just is to just write. To what? Oh, to, to write. write. To, to I write and be like, oh, because I was going to drop this on Twitter today, but it just didn't feel right. Um, <laughs> so drop it now. I'm going to drop it now. Uh, this comes from somebody that most people who uh, love the idea of of getting rid of PC culture. Uh, this this, like Craig this person who said this. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is what. Let me phrase this correctly. All right. uh, people who love getting the getting rid of PC culture also like to listen to this specific artist who wrote many amazing songs. Chris Brown. No. Michael Jackson. I gotta read the lyric first. I wonder why we take from our women, why we rape our women. Do we hate our women? I think it's time we start to kill for our women. Time to heal our women. Be real to our women. If we don't believe, we'll, and if we don't, we'll have a race of babies that will hate the ladies that make the babies. And since a man can't make one, he has no right to tell a woman when, when and where, where to, to create, create one. one. So will the real men get, get up? up? I know you're fed up, ladies, but keep your head up. Tupac, which is hilarious because those who just type away, look at these pussies in the PC culture world. They do it on the main show audience. They do it on Twitter. Look at these pussies. One, you would never sit here and say the same thing. You would never sit here and say, yeah, can't all these ladies are pussies for not doing any of these things. They shouldn't be talking football. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You don't have the balls to do it. Secondly, Tupac says these things. Tupac, the OG feminist, if you will. So you listen to Tupac. Probably, most people do, at least have heard of them. Then you write away, you start typing away. So it's a little bit hypocritical. 
to look up to one and take the message out of another. I Ain't Mad At is probably my second favorite Tupac song. Every, Behind changes. Every Tupac. Because every every he line, so much music. He's amazing. But every so line in changes is groundbreaking considering what we have today and what we've had. I know. I, I really hope he's okay in Cuba. I do. With Elvis? <laughs> they're, all, they're all there. No, Elvis is like, didn't Elvis shoot himself? I, I, Tupac's alive. We're joking, Jason. Tupac's alive. Bart on the mic. Bart knows it. No, Elvis didn't. Shoot himself. He got shot. No, no, he died of he overdose. He shot his TV. No. He died no. of overdose. He shot his TV. No, close. Rick's pretty much on the on the on the spot. Um, basically, um, prescription drugs. He was constipated. Went to the bathroom. Couldn't finish the business. Died in his bathroom. Wow. Oh my God! What was the? Uh, what a terrible way to die. What was Kirby I mean, that's kind of like? what happens when you steal everything from black people and then call them worthless for it. I mean, you, you die a shitty death, you know. What is a, uh, I think a Mark, shitty death? A Mark Twain who said, uh, "I never wish death upon a man, but I read some obituaries with a smile on my face." Yeah, and I a like, fun and I a like fun fact. I like the shitty death line because it, it was he was. Yeah, that and was a fun bad. fact: really if you ever go to Graceland, they will never take you to the bathroom. What's that? Oh, They'll that never give you a tour of the bathroom, bathroom. if you ever oh. go to Graceland. Oh. So the. Uh, what is it, Curb Your, curb your Enthusiasm? Mm -hmm. Constipated Larry, I, I, I want a hot dog eating contest, Constipated Larry. I did a porno, Constipated Larry. I shot a porno, Constipated Larry. <laughs>